How to replace the thermal paste on your laptop. Today let's replace the thermal paste on the Dell G155 11 laptop as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 8 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Lay the laptop with its back facing up. Use a PH0 screwdriver to remove four screws from the top and bottom and loosen four screws in the middle. Use a magnetic mat to sort and place the screws to avoid confusion or losing them. If the bottom cover doesn't pop open, you may need a pry bar or a triangular prying tool. Align the pry tool with the casing gap and pry around the edges. then gently open up the back cover. Use a pry bar to disconnect the power cable and make sure to hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any remaining electricity. Then, remove these four screws and take out the battery. Step 3, remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. First, unscrew two screws holding the solid-state drive and carefully pull it out. Then remove the screw from the Wi-Fi card and take it out too. Remove screws on the top cover, two on the motherboard and two on the top side. You can then use a pry bar to gently pry open the top cover. For the wireless card's cables, you can simply remove the tape holding them and lay them aside, you don't have to remove them. Prepare two pry bars to disconnect the fan power cables on both sides. as well as the audio power cable on the right side. Remove the ribbons. Disconnect the ribbons with a pry bar and tweezers and then pull them out. There are four ribbons, be very careful when removing them. Then the display cable on the top. Remove the 11 screws securing the motherboard. Put the two metal plates on the magnetic mat as well. Before removing the motherboard, check for unremoved cables and screws. Finally, the entire motherboard can be removed. Turn the motherboard over. Remove six screws from the heatsink in a diagonal pattern to avoid uneven pressure. When removing screws, choose a high-quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo 01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane and apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. To more efficiently clean the old thermal paste, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here we can see that the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after several years of use, leading to reduced cooling efficiency. Besides the heat sink, we also use thermal paste cleaning wipes to wipe off the dried thermal paste on the motherboard. Step 4, clean the fan. 
use a PH Type 000 screwdriver to remove the small screws on both sides of the fan, four on each side for a total of eight. Flip to the back and open both fans. Prepare an anti-static brush to clean the surface and the dust on the fan blades. You can also use compressed air to clean the details. When using compressed air, remember to keep a small distance to prevent liquid from spraying out. After cleaning the fan, don't forget to also clean the heat sink and the back panel of the case. These areas are very prone to accumulating dust. After reattaching the fan to the heat sink, use the PH Type 000 screwdriver again to secure the screws. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. Don't use too much, just a small amount will do. You can use a spatula to spread it evenly or just use the dot method. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Finally, reassemble everything in reverse order. Reinstall the heatsink and motherboard in the same order as before. When reinstalling the heatsink, please note that the bottom right and bottom left sides are underneath the motherboard. Also, pay attention to the position of the fan cable, which should be placed at the back. Use a PH0 screwdriver and install the heatsink diagonally. It is recommended to first tighten the six screws to about 70% tightness. After all the screws are in place, tighten them to avoid excessive stress. When putting back the motherboard, be sure not to press down on the cables on the bottom cover. Reinstall the cables in the original order. First install the screen cables at the top. Two on the left. Two on the right. and three in the middle. After installation, make sure to flip the clip back. Then tighten the 11 screws on the motherboard. The wireless card cable should be inserted into the slot. Install both the Wi-Fi card and the SSD. Then reinstall the battery. Put back the four screws and connect the power. Finally, put the top cover back on. Tighten the two screws on the motherboard and the two screws on the top side. Put the back cover back on. Reinstall the eight screws on the cover. And you're done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.